Hello friends, in this video we will explore box plot. So box plot uh, you know uh, also talks about the distribution of uh, uh, your, our data in which is in the continuous scale. Okay, so uh, this is also called as box whisker plot. So we can see there is a box over here and the two whisker. Okay, so the box. Uh, so uh, like so, let me explain what it each point means. So basically, um, uh, in the, in a box plot, uh, the box means this is the first quantile. So that means this is that observation below which twenty five percent of observations lies. Okay, so let's say this is that expression of D one. Here we want to plot. And in the pathway one, how it is distributed? Pathway two, pathway three, four, five, six, like that. How the dist di distribution looks like of the D1 distribution? Okay. So now this this point, uh, the lower of the box point, that is the first quantile. That means, uh, let's say the scale is from zero to four, right? And this point, something, let's say point uh, three or four, that is the first quantile. That means below that point, third, twenty-five percent of observation lie, and seventy-five percent lies on the above. And the middle bold line that is the median. That means 50% below and 50% above. Or the median is also called as the second quantile. And this point is the third quantile. That means this is that point in the observation below which 75% of observation occur and 25% uh, observation of occur beyond that point. So we have first quantile. We have the second quantile or the median, and we have the third quantile. So this box is generally called the interquartile range (IQR). Okay, because Q3 to Q1 distance, that is, this box is called as the interquartile range. Okay, and from here, this IQR 1.5 times that side and 1.5 times this side, that is this point. Okay, so and anything this lies beyond these two points, those are generally uh, uh, you know identified as outliers or in the observation which are represented in this dotted point. So, what does it mean the outliers? Outliers are, are those points which seems to be very different from the rest of the observation. So, they they are important, but sometimes they are you know very different from the rest of the observation. So, this way the box plot helps us to identify not only different points in our data. Means it will it will give us what is the first quantile, median, and you know third quantile, and the box size will tell the IQR means how what is the deviation. Between Q3 to Q1, and not only that, uh, it will give uh, the outliers also. So now in this plot, you can see, you can compare the median value, and you can say that the median D1 expression of pathway 7 is higher compared to pathway 6, then pathway 5, and the least one is around pathway 2 or pathway 1. So they behave similar. So by comparing the median value, we can uh, see the, uh, we can say by looking at the plot, we can say that median uh, distribution how. Of uh, these seven categories look like. Not only that, we can also uh, compare the box size. So this IQR is uh, also a, a similar, uh, you know, estimation of the deviation in your data. Okay, so which is like we use standard deviation, and standard deviation is generally sensitive to outliers. Okay, so it is not a robust estimate. So IQR, the, this box size, that is a more uh, better estimate of uh, you know the deviation or dispersion in the data compared to the standard deviation if our data contains the outlier. And we can see that here outliers are present. So assuming that the IQR, we can say that the deviation is higher here and deviation is even higher here. So that way, so higher is the box size, more is the spread of your data point. So we can compare in a single plot the center point, central tendency, that is median value, as well as we can compare the spread by comparing the box size. And we can also look at the outliers, which are these are the circle, you know, this thing. So yeah, so that's why box plot is an easy way of uh, you know um, conveying or describe our data point. And we can uh, use two uh, point here. One is the I mean we can check the on the continuous data, and we can uh, here on x-axis can be in categorical data. So the, you can use two variable x uh, is categorical data, let's say pathway tissue like that, and y can be uh, the this thing uh, the continuous data like d1, d2, d3, any k. Okay, and uh, we have this function uh, ggplot provide geometric underscore box plot that uh, is is for the box plot. Okay. So now, uh, uh, as I said, we need two aesthetic. So the command simple like uh, df first data frame. Then you say x equal to pathway, and y equal to the d1, and you say the geometric box plot. So then this will say how the d1 distribution is according to the different pathway. So let's do this. So this is my data. So I will say that ggplot 
then data frame AES then x equal to d1 sorry we can say we can do the reverse way also that will reverse the plot x and y equal to d1 and we say that geometric underscore box plot okay so now if we just do the reverse I will say that x y equal to pathway and x equal to d1 so it will do the flip so it will flip so now on the y axis our pathway is there and on x axis we have uh, the d1 okay so let's make this way so now the next uh, what we can do we can add one more property like so instead of this we can say that in the median add a notch okay so that uh, so what is the use of this notch uh, is like uh, so you can see that uh, if this and this you know uh, if the medians are in the same level so these two will form a diamond okay but these two are now it's not linked right so by the notch will uh, you know help us to know that whether the medians are same or not so if the notch are at the same level they will form a diamond kind of thing so that's why this is another way uh, we can introduce a notch so let's do and since it's the property box plot so we have to uh, write it over here notch equal to true now there is slight notch uh, will be created okay so now what we will be doing now we add a color uh, with respect to pathway so let's say our x is equal to pathway and color is also with respect to pathway so that what will happen uh, same box plot but now the color will uh, automatically come on each of this uh, box plot and that is with respect to the pathway okay if you remove the notch uh, so now this will uh, look uh, like this okay and we can also fill with respect to the pathway so instead of color we will be filling it uh, so that it will look this nice color will come in this plot so now you can see that it is very uh, nice way of visualization okay so now what will happen so here you can see that x equal to pathway one category and color is also with respect to that category but if we, we now do uh, the other way like you know introduce one more categorical variable like tissue so you will see that we will have you now uh, box of box plot so what it means like first of all there are seven pathway okay and within each pathway how the d1 is distributing across different tissue okay so now you see this so that way uh, you know it is like two uh, dimension i mean uh, three dimensions like this is one dimension this is second dimension and the color is the third dimension we are seeing the distribution kind of thing okay so this way uh, it is a good uh, way and yeah so this is i forgot to tell here now we can change the outlier color over here and outlier shape so let's try that so let's try that okay so this this is where right so let's change that outlier dot color equal to red so now you see the color is changed to red and we can also change the shape also outlier dot shape equal to so we can give some uh, shape two will uh, like this one is the default one three will be plus you know four will be you know this cross symbol so that way we can change the outlier uh, uh, shape and outlier color okay so next uh, okay so we as i said earlier that we can flip it uh, by simply uh, either we can x and y if we interchange so that will flip or we can add uh, this function called code underscore flip so that means this but the moment we say it it, it will uh, same thing it will do instead of uh, a, a changing this x and y we can directly add a layer uh, coordinate flip that will also flip so this is another way of doing it now this is i always like the best one so that is the adding the zitter jitter layer okay so now you see that this is simply the geometry is like this so let me first make it more colorful fill equal to pathway let's don't fill it because we will not see okay now what we can do geometric underscore jitter okay so what so basically what it does uh, just don't worry about so each of our point were there right so the value is now plotted over here so those so now as i said this is first quantile this is median this is third quantile so if you just think that this is on x axis and how the plot will look like right positive negative so that way the jittering is also tell how the like we can say that this area is dense and this side lesser observations are there because uh, few lesser points are there okay so not only the box plot we can add a jittering and we can we change the width to let's say 0.2 over here so now you see the jittering is decreased and add some transparency alpha equal to let's say 0.1 
So now we can see a nice uh, this thing. Okay, and now if we introduce color over here. Okay, let's introduce color is also with respect to pathway. So now you will see that uh, the point will also be colored and transparent. So now this is an it not only tells this three point, it also tells that uh, there are lesser observations are there. That means this area is less dense, but this area is more dense. That means more and more observations are there here. So that's why you can see that uh, the median is in means the, the you know uh, this size is less like that. Okay. So yeah, this jitter is in another way of uh, this thing, uh, put information. Now we will see the facet wrapping. So for that, let's go back uh, to this thing. Okay, let's say fill is with respect to um, tissue. Okay, so we'll get x equal to pathway, y equal to d1, and fill is see quotation mark. That's the problem. So that's why I'll, I always say that do not put quotation mark. Okay, sorry. So quotation mark will create a problem. Now you see that we have this different categories, but it's difficult to see visualize. So we can simply use our best facet wrapping, and we say that do with respect to tissue. Okay. So now you will see that uh, the this will be split according to this tissue, and within this tissue, how uh, you know uh, the the observation is varying uh, as per the pathway. Okay. So if I just zoom it, so now you see the x-axis is seven pathways. And uh, you know how it will look like. Okay. So yeah. So facet wrapping is done. Uh, okay. So if we just revise what we have done, uh, what we see like we added a geometric box plot. So we specify x and y, and uh, then we add a notch equal to true. Then we saw that we can add color equal to pathway, and we saw that color equal to GDR. So then we will get this kind of plot. Then we can change the outlier color and shape. Then we used coordinate flip to flip it on the horizontal to vertical that way. And we added jitter line and we used width and alpha to control uh, this point. Then we used facet wrap to get this uh, kind of uh, you know uh, box plot.